That was quite an introduction, actually. It's coming up with a thank you at the back of it. And I had this uh, little uh, set of six or four pages with me, and I just tossed it over there because after the kind of invigorating conversations we've had just before this, I'm thinking to myself, you know, what am I going to stand up here and talk about the telecom industry having done anything in the area of sustainable goals, but we have. I seem to have lost. Oh, I've got it back. I don't know what happened. Technology, what I stand for. But uh, suffice it to say that whereas the sustainable development goals have emerged more recently, idea at a philosophical level, and I think this is important, an important point, has always been involved in some form or fashion with sustainability. I want to tell you a little bit about Idea Cellular first. Idea Cellular is a part of the Aditya Birla group. A lot of us know about the Aditya Birla group. We're a very large multinational entity. Shall we just stick with this? All right. And uh, some people may not like these numbers, but we are an over $41 billion uh, in revenue terms group. But we have a very deep-rooted commitment to sustainability. It is driven from the top by the chairman, and it drives each and every element of what we do and our culture within the organization. And I think that is what makes the difference between doing it and doing it right. Now, a lot of what we have done, and I, I want to just run through this very quickly because I am conscious of the fact that there is a certain set of time, amount of time, which is important for me to get a message across. And the message really is that we have these 13 SDGs, but in idea, we have already been able to cover a several number of these, and 13 of them is what I was counting at the last point. But how have we done this, and how can I claim that we've covered them? Baby steps. And then when I sit down and I look at what we have done, and I bracket them into seven groups. And I'll come back and I'll try and explain to you why it is, so I'm not going to spend time on what those seven groups are. But suffice it to say that the telecom industry is based on towers, which emit radio waves, which some people think are bad for you. They aren't, but some people do think that. We need a huge amount of towers. We need electricity to run those towers. And at this present point of time, and growing, there are over 400,000 of these towers in the country. But only 30% of them are electrified. Now, when I say electrified, I am really mean, meaning that they have a grid power source. The rest of it comes from diesel generation. And that is hugely polluting. So back in 2006, IDEA, with its culture of sustainability, started a program. We did it in association with the GSMA. And we started a biodiesel program. Small baby steps. We did, at that point of time, 350 towers. Now, you'll say when you're talking about 300,000 or 400,000 towers, what is 300? But as I said, baby steps. It was a system which developed an ecosystem of its own in a small geographic area in India called Andhra Pradesh. We then went into other areas of sustainability. And today, we have approximately, um, let me refer to my notes, if I may. 11 megawatts of solar power which is getting generated in this grid of ours. We have also, along with the USTDA, got a $1 million grant to look at um, hybrid solutions in 
power generation along with batteries. So I'm just touching one little point over here, which is power. But another point is the people. When you have over 20,000 employees in your organization and the people are culturally tuned towards sustainability, it makes a massive impact on your organization as a whole. And there are little, little, little bits of activities which you do where we involve people in the work. CSR is, yes, it's, it's always existed in the group. It will continue to exist and people are involved in it. But I think culturally, we are an organization which has done it, will continue to do it, and we have done it in the area of network reliability, we've done it in the area of custom, um, uh, development of the community, we've done it in the area of the employees, etc., and occupational health and safety, and several different areas, and they're all there, but they're all baby steps. But we will take this, and I think the important thing in the future is to take this huge leap beyond, which has been referred to as the exponential leap. I'll leave you all here. Thank you very much.